This is Diane Newton. We're at New York Comic Con, and here we are here with artist Eric. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Nice to meet you. We see that you've uh, immortalized here Yu-Gi-Oh! 10th anniversary. In is that chalk? Yeah, it's all chalk. Uh, I don't think I was the one who needed to immortalize Yu-Gi-Oh! That that's got quite the following on its own. But thank you very much. Uh, yeah, every inch of it's chalk. It's nine feet wide by twelve and a half feet tall. And uh, you have um, other other artwork that you have here. It looks like you have things where that are, create optical illusions as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been to all sorts of conventions. I travel around, going to shows. Uh, I, this is my third New York Comic Con. It's actually my fourth New York anime. When they since they combined them, I get to count both. Uh, but I I go to. Uh, Florida and Seattle. I've done pieces for Lucasfilm and Nintendo, and I basically go around doing these at shows as like advertising for for various things they want to market. Or I'll do the out like you said the outdoor pieces. I do the optical illusion ones at art festivals, art walks. I just did one for ESPN uh, a couple weeks back in Bristol, Connecticut, and they wanted a 3D one, so I did one there. Uh, but yeah, I do both types. I can do them like this, where they're not 3D and they're more just a recreation of existing art. Or I do the optical illusion ones. I, I pretty much do what anyone wants me to do. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, you've, got, you've covered the range, all different genres. You know, sports, um, comic art, and, well, and just personal art. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm mostly known for recreating comic book art, video games, and anime. Those three seem to be where my niche has fallen. I go to a lot of anime conventions, I go to, of course, a lot of comic conventions, right. and I've been hitting a lot of video game conventions doing artwork for some of the new releases and stuff like that. So that seems to be, pop culture-wise, that seems to be where I land. But I have branched out just in the past year or two, getting a bunch of other people who've asked for various artwork. So it's been really cool. Like ESPN that you mentioned before. Oh, yeah. Are you going be to be at next week's uh, anime festival? No, actually. As far as I know, I haven't been asked to come there. I haven't had anyone contact me, so I, I probably won't make that show. This might have to be my last show of the year. I've been, I've done so many in the past like three months. I'm definitely feeling it in my back, my neck, and I want to be good for next season. So I, I'm, I'm thinking I might need, for medical reasons, to kind of end my season pretty soon. Right, that's a good idea. Protect the body, protect the instrument, so you can keep doing more incredible work. Oh, well, exactly. Like it's my, my fingers are my instrument because I, I rub them raw, as okay. you can see. Been working some, today too. Some some shows they've actually opened up and bled, depending on if I've been working long enough. Uh, but yeah, my whole body is into the artwork. It's not just a paintbrush or a tool. Right. So if, if anything happens to me, I'm out of commission. I can't do it. So I'm, uh, I'm, I need to be in good shape to do these because after 26 to 30 hours on the floor, you definitely feel it. Well, we appreciate that you're taking that into consideration so we can continue to see stuff like this at, at the different conventions and shows. Well, I just hope people enjoy it. We really do. That's, that's why we're standing here with you, Eric. So thank you so much for talking with us today. Oh, you're have, welcome. A, have a great time. Thank you. This is Diane Newton, New York Comic Con for the tape.